Everyone in the system already loves my famous meatballs. Now I've got three new tasty treats you can enjoy right in your order. Start your day off right with Papa Brenda's and Fasted Instant Oatmeal. Slow cooked in thick, rich blood to create the ultimate mix of soft bones and tender sinew in a variety of flavor options. Papa Brenda's kettle cooked, crinkle cut, corpus crispies are the ideal snack. We remove the armor and bypass the shields, so you get to enjoy nothing but delicious, protein-packed flesh. Whether you're working, playing, or on the go, they'll always provide a nice boost of energy. And after a long, hard day, settle down with one of our planes pot pies. Meaty chunks of armor-free clone flesh anchor a grenier goulash. Wildlife Medley weaves choice cuts of kuwaka, kondra, and mardu with our proprietary blend of sentient spices. Or for a light and low-calorie option, try my seafood stir-fry. Packed with succulent shirak slivers, moist mercury morsels, and gooey globs of blabbing. All Papa Grendel's products are nitrate-free and provide an all-natural alternative to other toxin infusions. Pick some up at your local Relay Supermarket today! Oqua Tangent 1, my people, and welcome to the Hardcore Endgame Build Guide for Grendel. If you're surprised to see him getting the Hardcore Endgame treatment... Well, me too, son. Yeah, me too. And while I was streaming the other day, someone had a question about the large lad, and I realized that I'd never sat down to consider a serious build for him. And speaking of Twitch, I want to quickly thank everyone who stopped by during my first week of streaming. Whether you follow, sub, donated, chatted, or just quietly lurk, your support was greatly appreciated. I'll be back at it this week, and I hope to see you all once again. As for Grendel, by the time I got a few form of deep, I could tell he was cooking up something special. How about a nice, greasy pork sandwich served in a dirty ashtray? And Steel Path felt like easy mode once I added a few toppings and settled on a final build. Here's a list of ingredients you'll need to create this dish in your own kitchen. An Oricon reactor and three regular forma are all that's required to squeak just under mod capacity. The arcanes I'm using, Energize and Guardian, aren't absolutely mandatory, but you will find it difficult to survive a lengthy stay in Steel Path missions without their assistance. I also find Koras and Snare to be the best helmet choice, but there are other good options for normal Star Chart play. And if you don't already have Grendel, you'll obviously need to get that sorted. Acquiring his components is a unique process, which players seem to find eh, less than enjoyable. This is the single worst day of my entire life. You'll need to complete the entire normal star chart to gain access to arbitrations, and then do arbitration missions until you've saved up 25 Vitus Essence, which is a resource unique to that game mode. The arbitrations vendor, who's located near the entrance to the Arbiters of Hexus room at any relay, sells three different locators which each grant access to a mission that rewards one of Grendel's component blueprints. Before buying one, though, I recommend finding or creating a group of players who are all looking to build Grendel. Only the squad host is required to have a locator for a group to gain access to the associated mission, so each of you can buy a different locator and then do the missions together, switching who's host in between them. These missions include 20 minutes of survival, 15 waves of defense, and an excavation which yields 800 total cryotic. That's a catch. Now, Warframes, Companions, and Weapons are stripped of all mods during these missions, and you're facing off against level 40 to 45 enemies. You see? I knew there's a catch. There's always a catch! Additionally, you won't be able to access your gear wheel or operator. The only exception to these rules is that Augment mods still work for some reason. These missions end up being less about testing your skill or ingenuity, and more about testing your patience. However, there are a few Warframes who do well despite these limitations. Protea is my top choice, as her blaze artillery cannons deal decent unmodded damage, which ramps up with each successive shot, and her grenades provide overshields and shield regen. She also doesn't care about having a small energy pool, because she creates energy orbs with her dispensary. Hildren is strong thanks to her abilities using shields rather than energy. Her pillage strips enemy shields and armor, and with the blazing pillage augment, she can set enemies on fire by using it while Haven is active. She can also use the Balefire Surge Augment to one-shot Nullifier Bubbles. Zaku also does well thanks to his grasp of Loke weapons scaling with enemy level, and Gaze providing 50% armor and shield strip baseline. Moving on, let's talk about what makes Grendel both incredibly unique and surprisingly powerful. His entire kit revolves around his one, Feast, so that's where I'm going to start. 
Activating the ability causes Grendel to open his belly and consume enemies near your reticle position. The vacuum-like effect lasts for one and a half seconds, plus one second each time you consume a target. And you can move your reticle during the effect to mark and consume additional enemies. Why on earth would I do that, Sergeant? I'm glad you asked. Now, for starters, his other three abilities require at least one victim in his gut in order to use them. Enemies also have 5% of their total armor removed each second they spend in there, and this scales with ability strength. On top of that, Grendel's passive gives him an additional 50 armor for each enemy in his belly. Holding hostages does have an energy cost, though. 1.5 for the first two enemies, 1.5 per enemy after two, and an additional stacking 0.05 per second until his belly is empty. One way to do just that is by using a held press of feast, which will... He was covered with five pies worth of used blueberries. Yep, pretty much. Enemies in the stomach are evacuated, and both they and any targets near the cone of vomit receive toxin damage, as well as a guaranteed toxin status proc. And get this, the damage scales based on enemy level. Additionally, after a one second delay, that guaranteed toxin status will deal 50% of the initial damage every second for six seconds. And don't forget that armored enemies will have some or all of it stripped while inside Grendel, and shielded enemies will have their major form of PHP ignored by the toxin damage. What all of this means is that his binge and purge damage is extremely effective, especially at higher levels. In fact, oh, well, you may want to adjust your headphones volume because I'm about to pull up a spreadsheet which will trigger too late. And if we look at the visual representation of damage, you'll see that it scales linearly, which would have been a problem when old enemy stat scaling was in place. With new scaling, once we reach level 80 or so, enemy EHP scaling becomes nearly linear as well. So killing enemies with feast should feel just as easy at the start of a Steel Path mission as it does at any point during it, no matter how long you stay. Nourish is Grendel's second ability and provides one of three buffs to both Grendel and nearby teammates, all of which scale with ability strength. You can cycle through them by tapping the ability key and then use the chosen one with a held cast, which will both damage the oldest surviving target in his gut and create the associated buff. Nourished Energy provides a multiplicative bonus to all sources of incoming energy. Nourished Strike adds toxin damage to your equipped weapons, basically providing a free prime toxin mod. And Nourished Armor, the weakest of the three, splashes toxin damage on nearby enemies when the player takes damage or kills an enemy. Nourish also provides an immediate heal to Grendel, which scales off of ability strength and enemy level. Even with a modest amount of strength, the lowest level Steel Path enemies will provide around 500 health points every time you initiate or refresh a buff. His three, Regurgitate, causes Grendel to forcibly evict one of his belly's inhabitants. Both the launched enemy and any near its point of impact take toxin damage and receive a guaranteed toxin status proc. As with Feast's Held Press, this damage scales with both ability strength and enemy level. In fact, you can think of this as a ranged version of the Feast Vomit. It deals less damage, but only removes a single enemy from the tank. I don't use it very often, but Regurgitate can come in handy if you're trying to eject just a few enemies at a time. Pulverizes his fourth and most fun ability. This is going to be epic! But it's the one I replace via Helminth. You sick, pathetic creep. I hate you. It turns him into a literal meatball, capable of performing limited parkour maneuvers and dealing decent damage to anything in his path. My issues are that its damage scaling is capped by a low 10 enemies multiplier, it doesn't deal enough damage to make up for not having access to weapons, and it sometimes launches enemies clear across the map. As I mentioned earlier, I find cores and snare to be the most valuable addition here, and I don't think other options even come close for steel path level content. The hard CC is invaluable, especially versus acolytes, and grouping enemies allows you to both consume a ton of enemies with feast, and also hit a bunch more with the ensuing vomit. I would usually talk about ability rotations and give general tips while showing off some gameplay footage here, but I feel like a lot of that already leaked into the ability section, and what's remaining ties into the build, so I'm just going to move ahead to that. I've got Empowered Blades in the Aura slot because... That shit don't matter. Well, I wouldn't say it doesn't matter, but this fits the native polarity, ties in with my love for heavy attack melee, and drains shields, which is actually a benefit. If you want something versatile, you could use Energy Siphon, which gets a boost from Grendel's Nourished Energy. Or Sprint Boost or Enemy Radar for added utility. 
If you don't mind switching auras sometimes, you could use Corrosive Projection versus Grenier, and Shield Disruption versus Corpus, and of course you can spend another Forma, or even an Aura Forma, to open up all sorts of other options. So I guess what I'm saying is... That shit don't matter. Yeah, kinda. By the way, Grendel only has 75 shield points baseline, which is one reason I don't care about losing them. The other reason is that I'm using Hunter Adrenaline as a major part of my energy management flow, which goes something like this. Grendel uses Feast to gain access to abilities, and this drains energy while it's active. He has a massive health pool, which we increase with vitality and strengthen with adaptation, as well as the armor he just gained from Feast. Enemies damage Grendel and drain that health. Hunter Adrenaline converts the health loss into energy gain, and Nourished Energy boosts the amount of energy regained. All of this energy is stored in the large tank Prime Flow provides, and can then be used to activate our Nourish buffs, which refills our health and grants status immunity via the Hardy Nourishment Augment. We can then vomit to clear Grendel's gut and start the whole process over again. The build also includes Power Strength from Umbral Intensify and Power Drift, which buffs our scaling damage and healing, and Duration from Prime Continuity and Constitution, which gives us just over 45 seconds on our Nourish buffs, as well as 3.6 seconds of status immunity for each enemy in Grendel's tummy when we cast Nourish, thanks to Hardy Nourishment. This includes immunity to Knockdown, which means you can use weapons like Kuvazar, Tenet Envoy, or Proboscis Cernos. Proboscis means nose, by the way. I know what Proboscis means. Without getting knocked on your ass. Hey, speaking of which, I had some of that infested instant oatmeal for breakfast this morning, and Paulus Christ, was it delicious. Chef recommends. Try some when you get a chance and let me know what you think. Here in the comments here or stop by my stream sometime.